Welcome to the Love Works Solution Podcast with your hosts, Sonica Tinker and Christian Peterson, founders of Love Works. During these Corona crisis times, we publish Corona relationship advice here on the podcast and via Facebook Live. You can find the link to our Facebook page in the description to tune into the live broadcasts. Hi, everybody. Welcome. This is uh, Sonica right here. My name is Christian. Hi, everybody. We're the, we're the founders of Love Works. Today, we are going to give you a absolutely smashing and effective communication tool that is like paramount and just so great when you want to get what you want in your relationships. And hey, if you're watching, go ahead and subscribe here, like the video and share it with your friends. That'd be great. When tensions run high like they kind of are doing right now through this whole COVID-19 experience, it is really easy for us to feel annoyed and irritated over little things <laughs> or even big things, actually. And our tendency when we're feeling irritated and frustrated is to just go off. <laughs> yeah, we see which. We- we share all the things that we are irritated about. It's just a natural tendency. We say it out loud to the other person. So hopefully they're going to stop doing whatever that thing is. We actually had an interaction with someone the, the other day who kind of launched in with this huge attack and all of this research and complaining and all of it could have been totally avoided with this one little tool we're going to give you today, which makes it very easy for us to go about getting what we want. And you'll, you'll notice when, whenever there's something we want to see change, it is often because there's something that irritates or hurts or, you know, that feels bad. I notice I get <clears throat> triggered somehow over something that you said or did or didn't do or didn't say. So when I feel that, that's when I want something to change. So I tell you, why do you have to put all your stuff over there? Or why do you have to move all my stuff all the time? You know, that's the thing that irritates me. So I tell you. What we say is, is, um, you know, really that we call that a complaint, actually, right? Like what's underneath our annoyance or our upset is that we have a complaint and the complaint stems from something is not wanted in the space, right? There's something we don't want. And we can actually use that to help us get what we want. Most of us, we kind of get, we, we say we get stuck in complaint. We kind of keep going round and round and round and round about this thing we don't like and presenting evidence for why we don't like it, why it shouldn't be that way, and why the other person should change. <laughs> and this, this happens... This, has, this happens in all relationships, at, even under the best of circumstances. And right now, obviously, in this world, we are not under the best of circumstances, any of us. And, you know, it's just so easy for tensions to run high and for our fuses to be shorter with our spouses, our partners, or the people that we're quarantined with. So this is even more important. So one of the things we like to do, first of all, is when we notice we're upset is to get in touch with what we don't want and then think about what the opposite of that is, which is what we do want. Yeah, why do you have to why do you have to move my stuff all the time? That's the complaint. Uh, okay, great. What do you want? What is it I want? <laughs> uh, I'd like you to not move my stuff all the time and leave it where I put it. Okay, great. How would I go about getting that? I'll simply make a direct request for the, what it is I want. And this, this is the ninja, ninja tool. tool. <laughs> it is so efficient. I would simply say, hey, would you be willing to leave my uh, water cup or my tools or whatever it is? Would you be willing to leave my water cup where I put it? That's it. And that's our favorite way of making requests, actually, is to say, would you be willing to? And then fill in the blank. <clears throat> What's great about that is it hooks the other person's will, first of all. And it also begs for or calls for a response. A lot of times when we think we're making requests, we're actually not making requests. I really want you to leave my water glass here is just a statement of something you want. It's not actually a request. No, no, it doesn't have a call to action. There's no embedded direct call for anyone to act or change inside it. So when we just say, would you be willing to... Whatever it is, give me a shoulder rub, 
uh, let me sit here for 20 minutes and do my work on the computer? Or would you be willing to leave my water glass where I put it? That is a statement that does not have blame, criticism, and attack in it. As opposed to what we normally do, which is to say, can't you just leave my stuff where it is? Do you really have to move that all around? Can I just be get? Can you just leave me alone for a while? All that has attack and blame and criticism in it, and it simply is an invitation for the other person to get triggered and attack right back or get defensive. So when he asks, so this is a real thing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so, why we use that example. <laughs> so when he when he says, "Would you be willing to leave my water glass where I where I put it?" I have a couple of different options for how I can respond. One, I can say yes. I'd be happy to leave it there, right? End of conversation. I could also say no, I don't want to leave it there. And then, you know, that would be an invitation for more conversation to see what it might take, for example, to have it be a yes. And the other option really is to negotiate. So let's actually role model that since this really is cool. a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you really knew us, you know both Sonic and I are rather clean freak sort of people. And we sometimes clean each other's stuff up before the other person is done using them. <laughs> uh, would you be willing to leave my water glass over there by the sink where I put it? Um, well, first of all, thanks for asking for that. I can understand how you like you use it all day and you'd like to know where it is. It, that's <laughs> like nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I notice for myself, I really like looking out and seeing the clean counter space. And so sometimes I want to give that to myself and I just wash your glass. And I want you to know you can always, if I do that, find it in the dish <laughs> on that little side book. And if you really want to have it not be washed, and I, I'd really like to have the counter clean, I'm wondering if we could keep it more over by the dish drainer section. Sure, just, so, just so let that, me... Just so let I me... get to still have my clean counter and you get to know where your water glass is. Would I that could, work for you? Yeah, you totally would. And I can, by the way, I could totally appreciate, by the way, I'll say to her, I could totally appreciate <laughs> your desire for clean counters because I love that too. It's beautiful. Cool. <laughs> So is there a place where if I put it there, that'll work for if me? If you put it by the hot water thingy, because okay. there's already a bunch of stuff, uh, right. that would be great. No problem. I'll totally do that. Okay, cool. Thanks for hearing that. So that's an example <laughs> of an, oh, another, like, you know, there's yes, there's no, and then there's negotiate. Like you come up with some a negotiation that really works to take yeah. care. And I want to acknowledge, like, we're pretty skilled at this and, you know, we're, like that really is kind of an easy thing to come up with with a negotiation around and and just to just to acknowledge that sometimes it takes a little bit to be able to get to that and it's not always so easy and that's sometimes where it can be helpful to have a skilled outside person to help negotiate coming up with win-wins especially about complicated stuff like <clears throat> I want an open relationship and you don't or I want to have a kid and you don't you know and it's not as simple as a little request and a yes, no negotiation. <laughs> yeah. And I want to add, you know, we use a simple example here because that happened this morning. So that, you know, that's just an example, a real example from our household. And, you you know, on the surface, you might think, yeah, wow, that's so brain dead simple. It's not really important. However, look in your own household, in your own relationship. And how often is it the simple things that really get to you that sets off some sort of argument, you know? But it's how much time the kids spend on their computers, uh, who does the dishes and how they do the dishes, who, who spends how much time in front of the television. You know, it's all these everyday instances that that basically is where relationship happens. And a lot of times also our partners really are willing to give us what we want if they would only know and we would only be really clear about asking for it. You know, would you be willing to help do the dishes since I made dinner? Would you be okay with it if I played piano while you make dinner? Would you be okay with, you know, putting your clothes away? You know, would you be willing to? You know, we just ask for what we want. And when when we do that, we're mostly surprised at how often we actually get it. Yeah, what people when we get a lot of no's in return, it's typically because we ask in a way that feels to the other person like an attack. And they want to defend themselves against it. Yeah, you got to make sure you ask it from a really, like, would you be willing to not, would you be willing to do, you know, because <laughs> that isn't going to produce yeah. the result you're after. <laughs> yeah, and you, and, and you got to be willing to hear in response a yes or a no or a maybe. Maybe means we can negotiate. 
Because if you're not willing to hear a no or a maybe, then it's no longer a request, it is a demand. And that's a different category altogether. So play with it. Pick some things that you really would like. You know, would you be willing to, my daughter just did this the other night, would you be willing to rub my neck? You know, my neck's hurting while we're watching television, you know. Would you be willing to, you know, after I did that for a while, she's like, would you be willing to not do my back? <laughs> yeah. So I did that. Our daughter, actually, and our son both do the same thing, using requests. And so they get, I tell you, they get a lot of yeses in their life, those kids. <laughs> <laughs> So hey, have fun playing with that. Would you be willing to? Would you be willing to try this out with your partner when you're done watching this video? Would you be willing to like this and share with your friends? Would you be willing to subscribe to our channel? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Until we see you again, take really good care of yourself and each other. You've been listening to the Love Works Solution podcast with your hosts, Sonica Tinker and Christian Peterson, founders of Love Works. Hey, if you found this valuable, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or anywhere else you see fit. You can find out more about Sonica and Christian and the Love Works Solution on loveworksforyou.com.